Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to design this poster in Adobe Illustrator. First, let's create the document. I'm going to use a 1700 by 2400 in RGB and press OK. Next, click on the text tool and write the initials of your city. In my case, it's London, so it will be LDN. Let's scale it up. Then choose your favorite font. Then right click and create outlines. Right click again and ungroup it. Now let's make it 3D. Select one letter, go to Effects, 3D Materials, 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel Classic and apply a different isometric perspective to each letter. Select all the letters, go to Object and Expand. Select all the letters and press D to create outlines. If you need to connect some shapes, go to Window, Pathfinder and click Unite and collapse all the necessary shapes. Cool, now let's make an interesting composition. Great, now it's time to add some colors. Let's go to Window, Swatches Libraries, RG3, Pop Art. Let's apply some nice colors to it. Cool, the topography is done. Now let's add a few more details. Let's go to the toolbar and select the ellipse tool. Let's make a nice and perfect ellipse and apply one of the colors using the eyedropper tool. Let's make another ellipse for the shadow. Perfect. Now let's select the main ellipse and go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place and do it one more time. Let's go back to our ellipse, let's move the top one a little bit and select both. Go back to the Pathfinder tool and use the Subtract option. Now right click, go to Transform and scale it 90% and remove the stroke. Now let's go to Opacity and click on it to show us the blending modes and select Multiply. Next let's make another ellipse and make it white with no stroke. And let's go to Effect, Distort and Transform and then Pucker and Bloat. Let's write minus 100 and press OK. Cool, we are 99% there. Let's select all these elements together, right click and group them. Select the new group and while holding Alt or Option key, drag the group and make a few copies and distribute them in your design. Be sure to move the little shiny light to create some variation. Amazing, now to finish let's go to the toolbar, select the rectangle tool and let's make a background and apply a nice color to it. And that's it, our post is ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next one. Cheers!